guys, I'm Laura Vitale and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you a fantastic recipe for a raspberry lemon creme brulee. But this is ridiculously easy, a total cheat and I am so proud of it because guess what? It is a perfect thing to make to really wow somebody and you don't want to make like a traditional um, creme brulee, which you can get the recipe for a traditional creme brulee on laurainthekitchen.com if you are looking for one. This is just much easier to do. You don't have to worry about having to bake it in a, in a big pan with water and all that fun stuff. It just really takes a handful of ingredients and it is spectacular. It's really one of my favorites um, and it's just really excited to share it with you. Let's go over the ingredients so we can get started. You're gonna need some cream cheese. Make sure it's at room temperature, nice and softened. Cold, heavy cream, fresh raspberries, confectioner sugar, regular granulated sugar, lemon and vanilla extract. That's it. That simple. I mean, I'm telling you, it's it's genius of a recipe. If you don't have a blowtorch, like a handy dandy little um, creme brulee blowtorch, then turn your uh, broiler on to high, which is actually what I've done, just to make things really easy. And I've got my ramekins on a baking sheet lined with some aluminum foil. Good to go. Now, I've got an itty bitty saucepan here. I'm turning that on. And to that, I'm gonna add in my fresh raspberries. Now, if you don't even wanna bother with this step, um, you can, by all means, just use raspberry preserves. But, I think since the recipe is so incredibly simple and easy, this is definitely a step that you should do. Only because it just doesn't take very long, and I want the raspberries to cook down for just like a minute, but I want them to still retain their, their shape. I'm gonna add some lemon juice to that, but before I do that, I'm gonna zest the lemon in here, because I need the lemon zest for my custard mixture. Let me juice my lemon right in there over your finger so that you can catch all the seeds. You'll need about a tablespoon of lemon juice. That looks about right. All right, let those go until they start to cook down slightly. Looking good already. Okay, by the way, I picked a terrible day to wear white. That's okay, we're gonna do our best. Now I've got my lemon zest zested in, lemon zested in there already. I'm just gonna quickly switch to my cream. I would normally use my uh, electric mixer for this, but I just need this whipped until soft peaks, just lightly whipped, so I'm just gonna do it with my whisk. But just make sure that you put your heavy cream into a glass container or a metal container and pop it in the freezer for about 10 minutes just to get it really cold so that it makes it easy to whip. But I'm just gonna lightly whip this up, keep my eye on my berries, and we'll pull the whole thing off together in no time. This is looking good, nice and thick, not too thick, and done. This is really simple, guys, I'm telling you. Now, to that I'm gonna add in my softened cream cheese. Now, it's just been softening at room temperature for a few hours, and it is important that it's soft, otherwise you're not gonna be able to cream it together. You know, it's not gonna be nice and creamy, it's gonna be all lumpy. Now, this is fantastic to make in the morning. Um, if you don't wanna make it last minute, you can make it ahead of time pop it into the fridge and you've got the custard ready and all you have to do last minute is put the sugar on top, pop it under the broiler and you have creme brulee. But it also works fantastic just right away. I'm gonna stir, I'm gonna stir, I'm gonna add some vanilla extract to this and now I'm just gonna start creaming my confectioner sugar and cream cheese together and then we'll add in the whipped cream. Add in your lightly whipped cream. I'm just gonna get it all out of here. Good. I'm really happy with that. That came together in like no time whipping that cream by hand. All right, just mix everything together really well. You want a nice smooth mixture. Looks amazing. Give this a taste. Mmm. Ooh, that is money. Okay. Get your ramekins close to you. Take your raspberry mixture. I just like to take a little ice cream scoop. Just, oop, to put a little bit too much in that one. Just to divide the mixture. And I just take my ice cream scoop and use that to top my creme brulee. And then we'll just go in there with a little bit more and even it out. Flatten them out in the spoon as best as you can. If you see the red from the raspberries, don't panic. That's just, hey. That's just the way it is. Now take your granulated sugar and sprinkle some of this right over the top. That's plenty. Now I'm gonna pop this under the broiler 
for literally just a minute. Keep your eye on it, do not move because the sugar will go from perfect to burnt in a matter of not even a second. So keep your eye on it, you want the top to get nice and caramelized. Then I'm going to show you what they look like and dig in. That's it. My creme brulee was under the broiler for literally a minute, but I will say this. It's extremely convenient to just pop them under the broiler, but you will get a lot more even color if you use a blowtorch. I just have to find mine. I don't know where it is at the moment, but it just still works. Listen, you still got that crunchy topping. Let's give this a try. Oh, yes. Woo! I'm so excited. You have to make this. It's so good. It's so easy. I'm gonna get a chop a raspberry. So good. Go to LaurenKitchen.com, get this recipe, make it for you next time you got people coming around. It's like the most stress-free yet wow dessert that you can possibly make. I hope you enjoy spending time with me and I will see you guys next time. Enjoy as much as I do. Mm -hmm.